Genoa is hosting the 61st edition of the International Boat Show. Over a thousand boats on display and nearly a thousand boat manufacturers attending. We went to check out some of the latest developments. Almost 17 metres in length is this flying bridge with a sporty line, the Azimut 53. On the upper deck, there's a large sunbathing space. The bow can also be used as a living area. Design and finishes are not lesser to those of a super yacht. Below deck, there are two double cabins, plus a twin single cabin and one for the sailor. It runs on 48 knots of speed with a perfect boat control and with two engines of just 1,550 horsepower. This is Pershing 6X. A bold yacht of almost 19 meters, sporty profile, aggressive deck, yet very comfortable interiors. On board we can find a lot of technology developed by the Ferretti Group, together with partner companies, most of which are Italian. Riva is one of a kind. It is the maximum expression of class and luxury, and the new 68 Diable is also very sporty, with a maximum speed of almost 40 knots. It is built in the historic headquarters of Sarnico on Lake Isio, where the quality of craftsmanship is passed down and resists the passage of time to offer, to those who can afford it, a unique product worldwide. Blue Game, Blue Game continues to innovate the style and function of yachts and this BG-72 is the latest expression of a new way of living on board in wide open spaces. In this project, the lower deck has been ennobled. It has become a place to live even during the day, inside and out. A new concept that is increasingly appreciated. Sunseeker has profoundly innovated its range and among the many new models there is the 65 Sport Yacht which, although being a flying bridge, rediscovers the sporty character of this brand. An upper deck that makes you want to take control and drive it, a large garage and a wide swimming platform. Interiors recall a modern luxury essence. On the lower deck there are three cabins in addition to the one for the sailor. The yachts of the English builder Princess are getting more and more beautiful, perhaps because they are signed by Panini Farina. This is Princess S78, plenty of space for the cockpit and for the interior living area that seats 12 people. The upper deck is lightweight and sporty, below deck we have the owner's cabin and the three guest cabins which have independent entrances. Domino 42 Walkaround is the first boat of Cantieri Navali del Tavera. It is part of the watercraft category, meaning it is homologated within 10 meters, but has an overall length of 13.3 meters. It is a walkaround and has outboard engines. With these features, it is certainly on the list of boats that must be seen at the International Boat Show. AMR120 is 35 meters long and it is built with a new technique that reduces the quality of composite material by using filava for environmental goals. The wide body form allows all interior spaces to be particularly spacious. It is equipped with four 1000 horsepower engines by Volvo Penta with pod drive propulsion. 
and it has been set up for the Selective Catalytic Reduction SCR. This is Absolute 48 Coupe, and I would define it as an easy boat as well as a beautiful one. It has Volvo Penta's assisted docking system that allows you to manoeuvre it by eliminating external disturbances. It has Raymarine's dock sense, which checks for obstacles around the boat, just like on cars. On the hardtop, photovoltaic panels to respect the environment. Inside, airy environments and high heights both in the living area and in the cabins, in true absolute style. With the A46 Luxury Tender, the cranky shipyard adds a walk around with opening terraces to its range. The hard top is full beam so it covers more surface. In the garage, you can store a tender up to two meters in length, easy to launch thanks to the submersible swimming platform. Below deck, there are four beds and many possible layouts. The dizzying rise of the Cantieri del Pardo has led to the creation of this new flagship, Pardo Endurance 60. boat with an original style and large open spaces, further expanded by the terraces. A walk-around deck house with a flying bridge. The interiors are modern and rational. Below deck, there are three cabins. The range of the Spanish shipyard Di Antonio continues to expand. This is D50 open. It has a unique feature, a jacuzzi in the bow. It can be equipped with two or three or four outboard engines, all hidden. Below deck, the D50 is set up with two or three cabins and two bathrooms, plus the kitchen. Just as other sailboat builders have done in the past, even now to Swan enters the world of motorboats. Swan Shadow is a 13-metre walk-around that serves as a tender, as a day cruiser, a limousine or fisherman, thanks to the different layouts available. The interiors reflect a classical style and are set up with a double berth. This is Solaris Power 44 Open. Its strong point? Beauty. walk-around layout is very trendy but is also comfortable and safe. The carbon T-top has only one central support. The sides can open onto the sea. The finishes are of a high level thanks to the shipyard's long experience in the construction of stunning sailing boats. Below deck, there are four beds. The FIM brand, acronym for Fabrica Italiana Motoscafi, is new, yet the shipyard has 25 years of experience as a subcontractor. Here, in Genoa, there is also the outboard version of the 340 Regina model. It is homologated within 10 meters, but the layout of the deck makes it more livable than other boats. Below deck, the dinettes can be converted into a double bed, and there are two other berths aft. This large yacht is 60 feet long. It has a flying bridge, four cabins, and is powered by four outboard engines. 425 horsepower Yamaha XDO. These outboards were created to equip large boats, but until now they have not seen anything like this. For the market and for the large diesel engines, Lion Yachts Evolution 6.0 is a challenge.
Adrenalina and Gran Turismo are the series that have marked Lomac's success. It is therefore logical to expect the development of new models with the same imprint, that is, captivating in style with top-level performance, materials and construction methods of excellent quality, and on the Gran Turismo 11 Cruiser, more space in the cabin. The new model by Ranieri International is the next 330LX, which falls within the length limit for boats, that is 10 metres. It has a maximum beam of about 3 metres for almost two-thirds of the length, and this feature makes it one of the boats with the best habitability. The interiors feature four beds in two separate rooms with a bathroom. The two 300 horsepower engines are ideal. Zar Formenti presents its new flagship at the Genoa International Boat Show, Imagine 130. They chose a sporty line for this 13-metre maxi rib that can be equipped with a maximum power of 1,300 horsepower. Being made in vacuum resin infusion, it is lightweight, and so we can expect high-level performance. The T-top is made of carbon. There are two cabins below deck. Marlin 40, a maxi rib with complete walk-around, so to be comfortable on board, even when there are many people on board. It is 12 and a half metres long and offers living areas and sun decks both at the bow and at the stern, but there are many layouts available. It has a very large and uncluttered swimming platform. Below deck, there is a cabin with separate bathroom with three 300 horsepower outboards. It reaches 54 knots. 